Bloody hell. <laughs> that is not what you want to see when you open up a wiring centre. It's just a bird's nest, isn't it? Welcome everyone to this week's video. I'm assuming you're tuning in because you want to see what I've been up to. Well, I've got something in store for you. I've done something a little bit different on this week's video. Tried to keep it a little bit more animated. Let me know what you guys think. If you think it's pointless, fair enough. Or if you think it adds a little pizzazz to the video, let me know as well. Just want to try a few different things out, mix things up a bit, keep things a little bit interesting. So yeah, just let me know what you think of it. And also thank you to everyone who commented on the last video on Sunday, where obviously I talked about switching my phone off and stuff like that. There was a lot of people who resonated with it and a lot of people who, you know, you, you guys are going through a similar sort of thing. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling in better spirits today. And well, the annoying thing was I took my camera to work today and I forgot the SD card because I put it in the little adapter when I was editing my video, um, uploading the content off of it. I forgot to put it back in. So that was a little bit frustrating because I had a pretty interesting job. I did film it on my phone and I will upload it at some point. But yeah, it's just, you know, when you're just one of the things I was just like, oh. but I didn't let it get to me. Found an alternative, just recorded it on my phone instead. And yeah, I'll get that up later on. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this style of video and if it's something that you like or yeah, whatever. Just let me know. And yeah, hope you guys are all good. Hope everyone's well. Weather's starting to pick up a bit, which is always nice to see. It always puts people in better spirits. And so yeah, long may it continue and I'll catch you guys all soon. Thanks for tuning in again and you know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all soon. I'm here today to do a bit of fault finding and diagnostics on this underfloor heating setup. We've got four zones here. Upstairs heating, downstairs heating, so radiator circuits. We've also got hot water cylinder, so there's an unvented cylinder in the cupboard next door. And we've got a zone valve here for this underfloor heating. Two nests, so the two nests are doing the radiator circuit and for the underfloor heating, it's just this mechanical stat in here. So the customer said everything else is working, just the underfloor heating isn't. So that tells me that there's not a problem with the boiler, there's not a problem with anything else. It's gonna be something to do with the underfloor heating. And he's told me that when he turns the stat up, the pump does come on. So I'm not sure how the pump's been wired, if the pump's been wired directly to the stat, because normally when I, when I do the wiring on underfloor heating manifolds, I usually wire the live from the pump to the brown on the zone valve for the underfloor heating. So that way the pump doesn't just come on by itself all the time. It will only come on when there's a demand for underfloor heating and when the zone valve gets a demand as well. So I'm going to check, turn this up, see if the spindle underneath here actually motors over because that might be one of the reasons why we're not getting any heat down here it could also be potentially the blending valve here because they are quite common to fail as well that's an sb1 so it could be that if it's not getting enough if it's failed and it's not actually allowing the heat to circulate through so i'm just going to do it this as a step by step we'll start with the zone valve then we'll check that and then we'll see if we're getting any heat all right so first i'm just going to turn the stat up Right, so as soon as the stack comes on, if I turn the light off, you can see the lights come on the pump straight away. Now I just want to see if this is motoring over, which it is. Is it motoring over? I can't remember. It feels like it is. Or is it not? It's because this cable is right close to it. No, I don't think it has actually motored over. Or has it? 
I think, let me whip the head off, because I can't quite tell from here whether it is motoring. I don't think it is, actually. Ah, oh, yeah, no, it's not. Look, that's me now pulling it over manually, and that's just springing back again. But when I open it, I can feel the heat coming through the flow pipe. So I think it's just a faulty zone valve, but I'm going to trace this back into our wiring center here. And we want to check if we got power going to the brown on this zone valve, which I'm pretty sure we do because as soon as we turn that stat up, the pumps come on. So this, I don't think it's a problem with the stat. Let's get this open, check that we've got power going to the brown. And if we do, and that's not motoring over, then luckily I always carry one of these. And that's just what the problem out, but let's do the electrical checks in there first. Bloody hell. <laughs> that is not what you want to see when you open up a wiring centre. It's just a bird's nest, isn't it? This is where some of you will probably become unstuck. Because if you open up a wiring centre like this and you're not used to working on heating wiring, it will just throw you. But all we need to do we're just following this cable and then all we're looking for is power on the brown so where's my screwdriver gone okay so here's the brown let's just trace that back that is going into terminal 13 there which also has a brown here which is i believe that should be coming, yeah, back to there. That's this wire here, which is going around there. And then it's also linked over to number 10 here, which then disappears into there as well. So this is probably going to be another switch last time. Look, that's come out as well. That orange. I don't know if that's if that was meant to be out or not. Where's that linked over to there? So I might pop that back into there. But let's check first on our brown. So where's all our earths? Where's all our earths? All down here. Right, terminal thirteen. Yep. We've got 240 on there so we've got power on there that zone valve's not motoring over so that's where the problem is going to be we need that to motor over so we'll just change the synchro motor on the zone valve we'll retest it and hopefully that should all be good and i also need to find what's going on with this because we've got let's see is that that's not live I don't know what the zone valve that's for, but I think that does need to be wired in anyway. So I think I will, I don't know, does it need to be wired in? Where is that coming from? I've got, or maybe it's not because there's some cables. Right. I'm going to leave that as it is actually because everything else is working as it should do. So I'm not going to touch this because I don't think it's actually come out of there. Let's see, we've got demand. Yeah, we've got two forties on there, so that's fine. Right, let's just change the synchro motor over and then we'll retest the underfloor heating side. Right, so that synchro motor's changed over. Let's put the heating on. And there we go. You can see that's now motoring over. Which it wasn't doing before. And if I turn the stat down. I want to see that spring back. Which it does. So that is job done. I'll put the power well actually i can put this back on the body without turning the power off let's just get this refitted back and we should be good to go all right so boilers on no demand at the moment 
Uh, let's put the stat up. Let's, let's come on. That's going to motor over in a minute. And as soon as that clicks, we should get demand on the boiler, which we do. The boilers recognize that there's demand for underfloor heating. Just give it a second. And there we go. We've got flame. All right, so let's just check. We're getting heat coming through here. Yeah. So see, it's not hot, hot yet, but it's warm because I can feel the heat already moving through it. So that's good. Photosynchromotor, job done.